Hello! <laughs> With that random sound, hello, hello. Oh, this is Anne B. <laughs> Caitlin? <laughs> How's someone about to leave the table for one? Yes! <laughs> I agree. Oh, fully immersed. It's, it looks like it's a ton of fun just to, like, just build random crap on top of the goofball shit you can do. Okay, but this is just divine. Exquisite. And that's all of you. You are all divine and exquisite. Please do not mantle divinity recklessly. It's officially Christmas! Oh my god, that could not have possibly came at a better time. It is. Christmas season. It's time! Matter of fact, next week. Next week is the holiday Arc NXT. We're gonna get festive. Wait, some death loops. <laughs> yeah, well. That's the usual, uh, usual feeling. If you get destroyed by someone else, you don't genuinely think they're divine. Unless, you know, they smited you so hard that you thought God himself brought in a hammer down on you. Oh, and yes, Snake, I'm glad you're ready to wrestle. <laughs> Got two in the second half. First half! Got, uh, got Gardley making an appearance. Got the Halfwits taking on Team Thalmor. Kenny and Elf and Lorekeeper running it back. And at the top of the, the top of ele the Elevation show, we've got Zia and Nadine fin uh, continuing, maybe finishing, their blood feud between the Enwall World Order and the Swit Pack. We also got Holly and Arurun for the uh, Impure title. Uh, and again, the other half will have uh, many other matches to go. We'll, we'll see what happens today. But for right now... We're just gonna get it started. Oh my... Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. I can't remember exactly how the line was phrased, but I do remember it. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I don't think it's a... Uh, I don't think this is an arguable point. Um, I would also like to uh, point out to people that there was a Christmas movie with Goldberg in it. Where he just went around killing people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The following contest is a no disqualifications match. Making his way to the ring from Asgard, weighing in at 220 pounds, Gary D. Lee. Yes, it was Santa Slay. That was the movie. And yes, it is him. It is Gary D. Lee. Him on is going to be a member, the newest member of the Enwall World Order. Not that Arthas, Arthas Bender. <laughs> yep, I remember Gardley coming that one directly. 
Well, I've also got the one that you for Neo Garden on the TV. After some time, I realized that it was the best choice. I have to have the Zeke make the long flash at some point. I feel like it's a line. Alright. Very beatly checking his wrists. Checking himself for weapons. Very, very kind of him. Good. Team wrestling to start it off here. Slapping my man's on the shoulder. He's breaking out. Whoa, flippy boys. Hurricane Rana from Gary D. Lee. Northern Lights Souffle. I love a Northern Lights Souffle. Oh, and. What? Arthas getting thrown around here. Gary D. Lee, a veteran of the game. In for a long time, former GM. Super play! And a decisive cover. This might be one. I was about to say that might be over real quick with the beating that Gardley's laid in. Misses the kick. Whoa! <laughs> what do we call that? The Taz Flex, I think? Goodness gracious. Also, I, I missed out of there, but hello, Brim. I hope you two are enjoying N Walker, or, you know, at least the Q simulator. That's the double axe handle. Flippy neck breaker. I have such a great knowledge of wrestling moves. Stop to the elbow. Man, man's got a pad on the elbow specifically. I feel like I need to specify. And early here, we have a high risk maneuver, a <laughs> leap of faith that actually paid off. Taking a wing stretch over outside the ropes. With the cover. Kick to the back. And the boss man slam the man just lays there. Two only though. Gardley renowned for his uh It's time! Kick the Howard himself! The man of the hour, the tower of power himself is here. And Arthas taking advantage rolls up Gardley. Oh, but not enough. The Gardley has the wherewithal. But now he's shaken by the appearance of Todd, the god. Off the ropes. Catches him. Todd. Not doing anything in his appearance besides appearing and standing at the ropes. <laughs> the lower of Todd God Howard, an unknown entity. Oh, the sweet roll, but no, no, he misses. Oh. End of days. Oh, let me see if I can get this lure out for Todd. Todd, the one above all. Constant sword of the side of Avec in this business. Currently, with the backing and also backing himself, Queen Silver, to form their own show, their own chunk of Arc NXT here on uh, Arc NXT Elevation. Arthas rains down the fists. Oh, the sweet rule connects! 
Hooks the leg. Two, three. Gardley with the victory here. Even with the appearance of Todd, apparently directly related to Gardley. I don't know if Todd has something against the Guardsman or not, but uh, it could be that he's got a little rope. He's working outside the programming, you see. Gardley had aspirations for something greater, and Todd forgot how frozen. Todd broke himself! Todd broke himself! He's still frozen out there! Look! Look! Here is your winner! <laughs> he's not Jeez. just working at all! He's actually broken! <laughs> oh, look at that strut! Oh, he knows what's up! There's a rivalry here! Oh no, now he's been, now they're enemies. <laughs> Todd broke himself at the start of a rivalry all at once. Unbelievable. Alright. Now we have tag team action here between the High Rock Half with Nero having has successfully won uh, a single match. That counts for both of them. Nero finally on the uptick, having broken his losing streak. Now, can they have a, a win here in the tag section as well against Team Thalmor? Aris will dig in the shades. What kind of stupid are you? Uh, well, they're half wits, so. Hey, Mike. How's it going? You enjoying your Reaper, uh, your Reaper leveling? <laughs> Gonna go queue up Yelp. <laughs> I. I genuinely debated leaving the game running in the background so that I could not, so I wouldn't have to log back in. But I figured that might be uh, playing with fire. Uh, well, we got the budget when Queen Silver took over uh, part of the show. I don't really question where the money comes from. I still don't get paid, but. Uh, you know, the show, the show is doing better. We now have two separate shows for our connection. We have the Elevation show, which is on right now. And then the latter half of our broadcast is the normal our connection. 55 gig, up good guy. Shush, Galen, shush! Um... Yeah, I mean, there's there's mods to change the graphics and stuff, but everything else is, you know, built in-game, like, supported things. Hello, Joe! I felt the boat. i bored. 55 kicks the Sigmar High R. Nero is still jacked and juiced. As it has it, the man's power will only only fade once he beats his permanent enemy. Now this is not them. King Thalmor with a long and storied history. Pretty 
Damn. Yeah, no, most of us, most of the people I know are waiting in virtual lines. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, my girl the villains. Jab. Kicking his leg out of his leg. A little drop like he was kicking him directly in the ass. I 
just realized he stole Lawrence's finish. <laughs> Hammerlock dumped it up and over. In the corner. Oh. Tunes up the band. A little sweet shit music, DDT. It's a little bit of a tune up. Drop D, maybe. Puts the leg. Madonna in in time to interrupt, but hard to pelican. Taking a little bit too much time to gloat. Neck breaker. White wounds. That's a right. Whoa! The agility for the hero. Back are it. Keep getting right back up though. Near a second rope! DDT! Exit out the telegram. Oh, telegram too big! It's <laughs> a real technical know-how. I don't think there was nearly enough done there. No, no indeed. Tanya, I like to imagine that was what on earth? Look at the bend on that leg! Oh, the the STF and Pelliger tap out at Tanya. Oh, good grief! Again, not for lack of effort, Nero did so much, but Tanya just said no. That extreme angle on that leg, I don't see how anyone could tap out of that. <laughs> oh, they're taking too long. Their music's already finished. We're gonna need you guys to clear the ring, please. You stop gloating any time now. Come on. Move it along. Yeah, it's always a question of did they use something underhanded to win before the match or after, or you know, daring. It's a it's a tough call, tough call. You can't trust those bananas. I tell you what. We're, we're we're going WWE style here. We got to run it back a lot. Feuds feuds end up going like this.
Now I recall that uh, last time we saw these two, Bikini Elf wasted literally no time in jumping Lorekeeper before she could even get to the ring. Making her way to the ring. Got your back, buddy, good, so bad, because it had to get. Hey, man, you find it back, let that clap, everybody is so cute. Hey, check out the cream. We'll take it. Well, the mode is not an effect tonight. Uh, thankfully, but I expect that many arrests will be injured before we're done here. As is, uh, what the heck. Or at least when we get to the second half of Red Shoes, no point, because Red Shoes seems to be the one that attracts the champion. And we got Lore versus Lore Unfriendly here once again. Lorekeeper managing to pull out a win last the week, Punisher, I was, or, Lori, no, last week. But this week, because it was supposed to be last week, we taped it, don't worry. Um, Lorekeeper managing to pull out a win on the last show against Bikini even after being just at the beginning. Probably because she had her hat on still for a while. I believe that was literally the case, um, as she was a failed moth priest. Yep. As I recall that, uh, Baloney met me, uh, yes, he was a failed moth priest. Now, uh, if not about adventure, they get to uh, into every more heavy situation you can think of. Oh, big knees of the key on the cross of the ring. Forearm chop, chop right in return. Off rope. Tries again for the knee, catches the leg. And the good old double Boston, although right on top of the ropes, so nothing doing. Legs and a ring. One and even then barely that. Leg again! <laughs> Bikini Elf scouting any kind of leg based offense. <laughs> Every time! Drop the knee directly on the face. <laughs> A little bit of gloating from Bikini Elf. The floor keeper figured it out. He knows how to how to catch the leg every time, so now it's just time to rain, rain down overhand. Oh, did not catch the leg on that big boot to the corner. Oh, stomped directly to the face of the field. Fireman. Uh, not quite there. That was a big boot. Oh, 
coming up on the outside. Whoa, huge leg from Guillotine on the ropes. Hooks the third old leg, hooks to cover. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained today. Door keeper catches the leg. Oh, little kick to the knee. Look, another little kick to the knee. Another little kick. Fucking not so little kick him right on the neck. Oh, gut branch up in the power bomb. He dumps him down, but he's not done this time. Intimidation. <laughs> oh, too much intimidation. Not enough action. Lorekeeper goes up top. Double stomp right to his stomach. No grab, no. Giddy out, ready and waiting. She really wants to get her in the corner. What is she doing? Bronco Buster, of course. Oh no. The buns of steel are gonna be coming into play here. Yes! Right to the head! Oh, again the move that took out BV. Hooks the leg. One, two, no! It's the game you can't believe it! Oh, she's going for two! And two! It took two! It took two to drop the Lord Keeper. Wisely leaving the ring. I got your back, buddy. I can't help. Absolutely. It's serious. Ref coming back in. I wouldn't recommend it. I wouldn't recommend it. I got your back, buddy. Oh, trick three. Can't help. Serious. Oh. Pressing the advantage against Lore. Lore has been beaten. Really? Oh, I feel like this one's not over quite yet. It's a one, a one for one in this blood feud of Lud versus Lore. Now, speaking of Lud, we've got the Empire title on the line here with Holly versus Arurun. I had to check one of my Discord channels to see. <laughs> yes, how we how we set up Phasmophobia games uh, between me and Hamby and Ron Yui is uh, one of us asks and the rest of us all reply with the same exact alien face. <laughs> I don't know how it started that way, but that's just the way it is now. <laughs> Our universal, like, confirmation is just an alien The 
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Lore, and score, no. <laughs> it's for the T-Rex roar, apparently. The Imperial title now comes with a dinosaur. Yeah, Lord, do you think... Yeah, uh-huh, I, I don't... I, yeah, do you think you prepared? I have a card? No. Unfortunately, no. I'm kind of flying by the way, bitch, get out the way. Addiction of Ed Walker has uh, made it difficult for me to get anything done in his face. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, get out the way. Oh no! <laughs> Listen, I figured out my way to, to keep myself from having to enter that queue. I'm gonna have to anyways after this, but you know. Make exceptions. Like, you would accept what the light is like. Oh no! The fight's out! I don't know why I'm so bothered. I don't need to, uh, I think just uh, some regular pirate wouldn't be as tough as she is, but good grief, she's got the aggression. And uh, has absolutely no problem with being as good It's hard to tell sometimes because not all the music is a different, uh, different level. We got the uh, impure title on the line. Introducing the challenger. Never Holly the third Caribbean. fucking dolphins about. Holly. Oh no. That's a geeky. Introducing the champion from Cocoa Beach, Florida. She is the ultraviolet rated R women's champion. Perfect 10. All right, that's kind of a cool little like uh, title show off thing. We're proudly displaying the baloney on her face. I don't know what name we have for this ref, but he's got the, he has shown that it is in fact a belt. All I know is that ref is luckier than red shoes. Slowing it down here. Continual shoulder slaps. Raise her over, goes to the sidewalk slam. Holly flips out of it. Big line. Burns arm having an issue there for a second. No, Triple H isn't allowed in the type of purposes, so no pedigree.
We absolutely don't allow NFTs on the premises. We will allow right click and save street shop with NFTs though. It's, it's NXT, it's Mark NXT. here early on, only a one count, not a surprise. We're in very, uh, yeah, I think physically bring it to the arena. Like I said, print it out, screenshot it, for sure. That's not a good idea. Does not connect with the axe handle. Getting her into the corner, but it's just not happening. Ball oh, dropped her down. Dungeon lock up wide. Wrenching back on the arm. Leg, everything angled up in that. A little uh, dirty deeds. One, two, and her room retains her title. No dolphin here to stop her. Thankfully or unthankfully, depending on what side of you're on. All the slowing down in the beginning is not letting Holly get up ahead of speed at all. It's sound strategy since, again, Holly's aggression and the offense is uh, really hard to stop if you let her start it. They like a room. Sophie Rex. Harvard doesn't. <laughs> well, get that one. Keep it, please. Urr, look at a weird combination of tired and smug. <laughs> Right, and here we have, we got Silver taking on Yiza. Maybe. After what happened last time, I'm not sure if, uh, if th this matchup is actually accurate.
Got two giants coming at each other. You crazy bitch. Well, I mean... Oh. The aggressively over-fancy shoes uh, fit, you know? Solid and refused to leave. We got Queen Silver taking on the Ronzo Lisa. Silver again reminding everybody who owns this particular part of the promotion. Media handle is accurate. Where are my female Verothgar? Where are the Verothgals, Yoshi? Relinquish them. You've given us the rabbit men. Now give me what I want. You force me to sit through these queue times. I expect compensation. Not just in the form of game time. But that's nice too. Thank you. I'm not mad about this at all. Not even a little. Not even, not even a little. All right, we'll set it in the ring. Queen Silver. Maybe a little too overconfident. He's just ready for business. to just walk out on her own match. Back and back, Sutter. You may own this part of the promotion, but you better fulfill your responsibilities, says Alicia. Oh, dear. 
Queen Silver up top misses the knees. Oh, she's got those loaded up with those diamond plates. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Even a shotgun of elbow drop. <laughs> Dropping them one after the other. And chucking Queen Silver across the ring. Apparently that's why Queen Silver wanted to get out of the match. She wasn't prepared for this. Sidewalk slam. She's getting done out, done over like a jobber by Kane in 1998. And as I say that, of course. Okay, so thank you for the heads up on the audio. Uh, it is kind of difficult to, to, to work out what uh, what levels everything is at. Maybe trying her best here. The Eza popping right back up. Oh, I rate, but Giza drops her onto the ropes. Desperately to get any kind of cover to stop these of just a one count. Put the ring back in. And Silver showing that she's no slouch in the strength department as well. Throwing these of fire horns. Or pair of horns, or whatever you want to call that. Big chop across the chest. Ooh, it drives that spiked heel right to the face. And speaking of right into the face, she's loading up for that knee and smashes it right to the side of Ease's head. That may have been the trick to win it. No, two counts! Silver doesn't know exactly what she needs to do to put her away. But this might be it! The code of silence, but no, her leg uses too tall! Her leg is under the rope! She's used to all of her opponents being so much smaller than her! Belly to belly! on her feet. Goozle! Like I said, Kane in 98! Big choke slam! And hooks the leg. Oh no, Silver's powering up. The Dark Souls music just kicked in. from Bosja on the, on the side of the shoulder. Actually, I don't know who powered up here. Wait. He's holding her up. Look at the strength! And timber! Looks the leg. One, two, no, Silver! 
with way more endurance than I thought she'd have. Up on the shoulders, one-handed dumpster Queen Silver and Isa gone up to the top. Drop Savage style in the back. Jesus is pissed. She's trying to bust out everything. Impaler DDT. <laughs> Silver strutting, showing that she's still got some in the tank. She's. Reserved something here. Got the line. The line again. Ducks. Big flying clothesline. Oh, those plated boots with the knee. And slams it right in the side of her head. Silver is understandably a little upset. Especially that that didn't knock Isa out. And Queen Silver pops back up to her feet. Where exactly is she getting all this energy from? Okay, so if the other corner is the Fujo camp, what are we calling this one? count and <laughs> silver nine <laughs> Isa just letting silver be counted out for her victory Isa takes the win with a count out good boy I guess she figured that was the one way that she was gonna get this done since Silver just would not stay down no matter what the offense was. You'll not defeat me again. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's about right. Unbelievable. Isa put every bit of offense out there, and Silver just kept getting back up. Here is your winner, Y E C A. Isa's <laughs> got hops. Yes, Y E Z A. Oh, big win, even if it was by a count out for the boss. Oh, no. Yep, Brim, you're right. I don't have the icon, like, I don't have the texture file for uh, for the grade 10, but I will absolutely be switching into that. Oh, I'm so happy there's a grade 10. New orb, new ponder. Oh, they do. They look fucking cool. Oh, 
orbs. And uh, we have Galena on the mic, which we'll, we'll, we'll see what wonderful dialogue we get this time. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Ouch! Oh, grief! I guess that's what she has to say! Listen! You, 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 spin the, you spin the roulette wheel of sound, sometimes you get that! What is social distance? <sighs> I'd like to know who keeps leaving the, uh, leaving the mics in the ring. We could exchange pleasantries. I could talk about this city or how much I love you people, which I do, by the way. But instead, why do we get right down to it? I mean, you already know why I'm out here, right? She loves all you people. Arcanist C hasn't been what it could be in a very long time. That's why I get when you guys are frustrated. Like when you take the dialogue off the screen before I can finish reading it! I'm not an inspired reality show contestant. I'm not here to figure out what I'm going to do after Arc NXT. I'm here for Arc NXT, to be in Arc NXT, and to become your champion. And this is true, she does have the title shot, the guaranteed one after winning the Imperial Rumble. On top of that, I want my chance to shine. I want to match at the next pay-per-view event. I want to prove to all of you, the people in the back, to myself, that I belong to be here. I want to earn my respect, so give me a shot. <laughs> Quick, read six sentences in two seconds. I'm a, I'm a fast reader, but I can't, I can't do that. She wants to respect the proper way. You know that I do all of this for you, so thank you for always being there for me. I've had a chance to entertain you guys in the past, and now it's my time to really wow you. To get excited because things are about to change for the better. Holy shit, look at that promo performance bar. She's got the highest that anybody's ever had. That combined with the one in the game. Well, look at that. Galena is our hero. She will apparently be showing up at Evermore Elimination, even though she has that guaranteed shot at uh, Dragon Bowl. So we'll see what happens there. We'll see who exactly she takes up. We get into our main event of Elevation. I believe this is going to be the blow-off for the Swit Pack versus Enwa World Order. I believe this is it. This is where the lines are drawn and we find out who goes where. And by that I mean I have to ask the people who have the characters which ones they'd rather have. Oh, we're starting off right away, again. <laughs> and is jumping the barrier, again! <laughs> She's done this twice in a row, you'd think Z would know by now. All right. That sneak attack crit, but it may not pull for Nadine this time, since uh, last time she still got beat by Z, as I recall. Go 
one over DDT. Again, this is very much just points of pride, and Nadine had started the NWO so long ago. And Z is, uh, as far as I can tell, one that's very much, she's an independent. She has her Nakama for sure, but, uh, I don't feel like she's the easiest one to try and order around for any purpose. Huge knee drop there. Breaker. <laughs> Is he very focused on tearing Nadine's head off? Sharp, quick elbow drop. I think if anybody's if anybody's the Hogan of NWO, it's gonna be Nadine. Great, she can work a lot better than Hogan, but still. Z always struck me as the Kevin Nash. Which will make Arthas a holiday? And then Yardi would be. Certainly not six pack. Ooh, the leg breaker there. Oh, ties it up. Two. I think that's the first time Nadine's even been able to use that. You kick to the gut. Axe kick off the ropes. Two. No. Still just not quite enough to put Z away. Seems to have at least a little bit of an edge here over uh, her over the other attempts that they've had. Other contest big back elbow drops her. And C says, Well, you've been having a better time. But that's over now. Up on the back of the torture rack position. Dumpsters are with a burning hammer! And just like that, the burning hammer puts Nadine away for a decisive victory for Z.
I summon a positive he might be generous. He does have that power of people. <laughs> All right, well. Now we are in our intermission here between. And uh, hey, look at that, Snake is on. All right, we're, we're going to be in intermission here for a minute. Hey. Bring up the good old fashioned please wait. Let's see here. This is good intermission music, yeah. I'm sorry to report that Leon has died. Second one. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Let's put that's a good one. Trying to make the unwalkers in the audience cry. <laughs> Oh, goodness. And, you know, and yes, it's been a funny haha -ha joke, like, oh, I'm addicted to it and all. It's... It's so good. <laughs> like, I know it's the it's the hoo-ha funny joke of, you know, I'll critically acclaim this, that. It's like, this is one of those things where it's like I would tell people to play it literally just to experience the story. Um, it's It's that good. It's... Oh, fan, you have so much good in front of you waiting. Oh, you're, I, I, I'm not going to say you will enjoy it because that's a little well, presumptuous, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Excited the Adderall. Don't worry, the cues do it for you. Pathetic. Thank you, Xenos, for your input on this. You were absolutely needed in this moment. Oh no! That's how you feel by the end of it. Oh, well, I mean, if they, they, I will tell you this, fam, that it is like, it's like 80% cutscenes. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's be <B> weird. <laughs> And Ba three is amazing. I know Chase has always loves to do the do the I am righteousness thing because it, it's just the one thing I'm sad about with that Grubhub collab they're doing right now 
is that they didn't put out a video with Vothry dancing like the Grubhub commercial uh, did. A real missed opportunity. What the hell is this? What is this auto-booking mess? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. No, 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 no. Real quick, I'm just going to take down the blocker for a second. I need you to see this. What the fuck? Look at this. What is this booking? How does this make any sense? What the fuck? <laughs> Voss, you're in a PC with a gaming headset. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we will not be doing that one. Um... Like, not under any circumstances. We are not doing that one. That's that's ridiculous. Who <laughs> said likes meeting new nerds? Who booked this? <laughs> That one indeed is... that's a... Uh... What in the hell is that about? She flips from like 100 back to zero. I love Rusia. <laughs> All right. Well, we're ready for the second half. So. Sounds like me to queue up over 7,000. Don't mind the sounds. That's just the camera bots moving around. All right. So with Arc NXT proper here, not Elevation, this is the undoubtedly better show because it's not run by a megalomaniac. Um, 
This is run by somebody with questionable ethics and morals and ability. Uh, we we are seeing our first match here: Mordessa versus Ramalda. Waifu's champ taking on a former uh, Waifu's champ. We're going to say it's a superior product, and then all the matches are going to be like five minutes less. It's my life. Making her way to the ring from Washington, the women's extreme ultraviolet undisputed champion. More Teresa Champion. Champion of herself, apparently. Well, it is the wife who's champion, and Fordessa does qualify as a wife who's, so therefore, I guess that uh, I guess that works. Size is too big for her. Yeah. It's a metaphor about how nobody thought she would ever get it, but here she is. Reigning champ and having defended. One of the Red Dead Online <laughs> I've heard complaints about the band over here the We're not here with a ridiculous arm breaker from Ramalda. Not not slowing it down, no no chain wrestling here. I lied. <laughs> you are Malta. I say, whoa, no chain wrestling, and then you decide to do it anyway. Can't believe you betray me like this. Malta, completely oblivious of what of what a spot is, and just runs right on. At least three bottles in right about now. Ooh. It heads to this. Back, Valda. Hulking up, big double axe handle. So we saw earlier with Queen Silver and Yuza, like, just absolute endurance. Well, Lord is definitely a, uh, somebody who embodies endurance and perseverance. For as small frame as she is, she can get up from practically anything. And she's also got a ton of aggression in there, too. Also, down to just tear it all over the rings of Saturn. <laughs> oh! Drops her neck first on the top rope. Not even a one. Over the forehead, spear is her down. Uh, not to make it from the arena or anything. The chicken side has gone up. Stunning legs. 
continue that. Oh, spear to the back in the corner. Steiner. This is the double axe handle again. No dice. Been through. Tiger souffle. Bridges. Two. No, no. Was it two? Bring her to her feet. The ropes. Her quick drop kick. This is, could not capitalize with the spear DDT instead. Go out of the corner. Gets her way up. Alabama slam. Boom. Oh, Urvalda, you're not hitting this. Not from this distance. You are mad. Oh, insane elbow! She does hit it! Hooks the leg! One, two! I am absolutely astonished that she actually managed to make that distance. the advantage. Gets her leg taken out of her leg. Into the corner. Big Enzigiri. I know what's coming next. Getting it charged up. 430 flipping the camera. Shook more than the ring did. One. Two. And Mortessa pulls it in victory from the jaws of the feet. Again, that's that perseverance, that just unwillingness to lay down and give up. I am happy that her ball to hit the insane elbow, but uh, oh, and there we go. showing why she is the waifu's champ. Now, I do have to say, at Evermore Elimination, which will be next week on Saturday, Mordessa will be defending that waifu's title in an Elimination Chamber match. Now, she can come out of those cages at any time, but if she's out second, or, you know, first, or whichever, he's at a severe disadvantage. We've had titles change hands in those uh, fairly frequently. But we'll see if that perseverance and endurance can hold on, uh, can help her hold on to that title through that. <laughs> Made of small, but also tough, yes. And now we have Joe taking on Theo, the bastard himself. quickly I know my man gave me another thing I got he has a new song so I'm gonna have to uh I thought he did but now I know oh uh, oh 
I guess we don't get his song? No, we really don't, because Chases took Theo out beforehand, dumps him on the ground. Red Shoes and Joe don't know what to do about it. Chases, absolutely furious, ready to go. Refusing to let this wait until Evermore Elimination. He is ready now. Poor Theo. He didn't deserve that. Which one are you talking about? Oh yeah, they guess they both kind of qualify, don't they? Oh no. Alright, getting back in the ring here. And Joe! <laughs> Joe dumping Chase him out of both sides! You madman! That knee dropped right to the groin from up top! Oh, I see also Cosmark with the combination. Smart. This is a no hold barred contest. Or at least the ref doesn't know what to do with it. So they are free to fight all the way up the ramp if they choose to. What the hell? What? You need no contest! We made no contest. What is this? What? Because he didn't. Because it wasn't the right person. Okay. I guess Joe thinks he wins. All right. Cool. Thanks. Red shoes. This is why you get beat up. Ugh. Well, it just works. Joe proving some kind of point here leading up to Evermore Elimination where they will be fighting for the Inner Tamrielic title. But I guess now we move on to the Gargoyle Gals and the Goat Squad. Featuring Ava and Triss this time. He has card, he's gonna try to make people stick to it. Yeah, I guess so. Fuck the other booking, though. What the hell is that? I was all excited to do Theo's new song, but no! Can't do nothing. Gargoyle Gal, definitely a dominating force ever since they showed up. Win losses be damned, Stone Fear and Ash and Soul are absolutely destructive when they get their hands on it. Cosmark fucking loves it. <laughs> don't even. I don't. I don't even blame. It's too fast to the song. You try to treat his hurt feces against Chase for revenge? That's, that's an idea. That's an idea. On the way to the ring, the fireman, Stone, Spy, and Ashley, Soul Man, Pretty Mean Sister. Oh, these two, though, I absolutely love them. Admittedly, you know, going up against them is a little bit difficult. When their defense is that rock solid, it's, uh, 
kind of difficult to make any kind of impact. However, Ghost, with as hard a heads as they've got, may just have the solution to breaking through with that impenetrable defense. And And soaking up some hits, too. Tris is uh, uncharacteristically real happy to be here. My only guess is uh, the fairy of goat clan type of giddy. I guess you could call that some kind of giddy. I feel like that's against the PG rating. Stone Spirit, Ava starting us off. Stone Spirit calling upon a higher power or lower power, depending on the, how you want to look at it. And Ava saying, screw that, I'm just going to show you out. Simple, but it works. Kevin, he just stopped and tired to care. Oh yeah, everybody in this match does have horns except for red shoes, that's right. Is just like I said with that, with the gargoyle gals being in front of the wall. She's definitely a movable object here. Okay, the tags out to that immovable object. Who is immediately moved to the ground? Finger out, holds her up, big kick to the gut. And up on the shoulders. There's a little too heavy. Big splash, look at that heavy. Look at all that gear on, that's uh, quite an impact. And Side of Axel's head. Triss is extra fired up. He said, 
Ancient Soul. This is that kind of silly word scouted out there. Butterfly. Souffle. And Triss with all that force throws Ashen Soul to the outside. Face first into the apron. Hard to put the right. Monkey flip here onto the mat. Probably it's entirely coincidental that there's a lot of Final Fantasy music playing. Entirely a Back to back out to Stone Spirit. Throws her into into her. Big power ball. Day that we see uh, one of the gargoyles put someone through a barrier. And oh, oh, that hip toss! Triss, in an extremely rare occasion, going all the way up top. For the diving headbutt, of course! The corner. They splash again. And there goes the caffeine. She's done. And she's back to being uh, completely out of gas. No, no, no! Just stop that battering ram headbutt! Ashen Soul can't believe it! Ava is a little too slow. <laughs> Red Shoe's almost about to die here. <laughs> Yes, people do keep landing at things off the top rope. It's a lucky day, I guess. Huge clothesline in the corner. Chris. And Stone Spirit with the strength of 10 men. <laughs> Let's pull that armor and gear off the floor with his coat in him. For that big gut wrench powerball. Attempts to goozle Ava, but Ava backs up with the nut and just floors her. Leg. 
but still not quite fast enough. <laughs> tries to take out Red Shoes. Soul tagged in. Big and mean strike. Uh, well, it would seem to be. And speaking of all the goats, again, that big power grab head, but Stone Spirit is outside of the ring. Select one, two, no! That is Terracos who said to agree. Yeah. For once and forever, that back elbow actually connects. All the ropes again. Picks the leg, gets kicked off. Goes for the crossbody that she always does, but uh, doesn't manage to win. Leg. Oh, choke slam. Oh, how the world with that one? the show once and it worked every time there so she figured she's just gonna keep trying it until it works We had enough. 
So, thank you, Todd. Oh, grief. They did. They killed him. Unfortunate. Please summon the ghost of the game. I'm sorry. Thank you. Your apology is accepted. Oh, all right. Got to get back into it. <laughs> All right. It's funny, too, because that doesn't happen all that often. <laughs> I guess it just decided, no, no, you've gone over time. Okay, well. Let's see, where is that function at? Because that one went on for as long as it did. Um, I am going to... Where is this at? Let's see here. There's a pull function here somewhere. We're going to see who won based on it. We're basically making this like a judging like by points thing because we went to time. Uh, uh, let's see. One minute. And... So please, uh, if that popped up correctly, uh, please cast your votes for who won in this contest. And uh, then we will assign them as the victors. So we can move on to the next one. Unfortunate when the game does this, but... As, as good as that was, I don't really want to run it back for that entire period of time because it's we're we're approaching time limit anyways. We still have three more to get through. Here, the goats won. So we'll have that as. Ava took it. All right. Please clap. I mean, vote. Okay, so for this one, we have green versus green, although one is significantly more green. Green versus green, B versus B. In a steel cage. Everybody, there's a new king in town. Get ready. Mojo, 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 king, baby. The following contest is a steel cage man making his way to the ring from Hungary weighing in at 267 pounds the original gangster Warren Hartman 
He is indeed the original gangster. He beats fans' hair. Him with man's hair would be horrifying. And his opponent from the edge. Which of is true, we do need to see him with it. So uh, I think that's, a, that's an idea for a future pounds, match. The engineer, Ryan Connor. What happens if fan wins that? Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also the Family Man match. Belly to back, throat, burn caught over. He tries to climb up there, he's incurring more and more damage as he gets dropped down. Back slide driver. Huh! I'm not even sure what that's called, but that was really cool. Wobbly tosses Bohan into the cage, in between the ropes. Family man. And again into the ropes. Whoa! Shooting star press. With that much weight coming out of the wall, he may very well. Oklahoma 
slam Bo Hunk's very happy about it. And the big green all fired up. Some fine buster there at the end. To the corner. He's back on the up right into the camera. Flying splash. Oh, come. Ref lazily counting from the outside. Red Shoes it, ha pretty happy to be out there since he's safe from damage. Oh, cat scratch fever! Looks the leg. Plus two. Well, there's a lot of similarities here, Brimcog. Both of you start with B. Both of you are mostly green. And both of you are family men. Person screwing them out. <laughs> oh, the big out. Oh, they, and they pulled that with N2, that's right. Alright, well, pinning didn't work, so Grim said, I'm gonna climb out. Oh, he's up on he's up on the top there. Can he make it out? Bohan climbing up after him. Punching him in the knees. Gotta be careful he doesn't knock him off. Yes, this is life with TPSD music. Please don't remind me. I come back and Bohan has won. Oh, looks like climbing out. Oh, and Bohan's team didn't play, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it here at least. Give him a little bit of recognition. His face. Yes, it's perfect. It's also a little bit scary, but it's perfect. Oh, Brim was really close there, though. That's just part of the course for the poor guy. Oh.
<sighs> Grief. Oh, yeah, see, she, she put the promo on the other show, but this one she's actually on. Now, those of you who abide by sign language are going to be very confused here for the next, like, five minutes as she takes her time getting to the ring. Making her way to the ring from Stillwater, the Warlock Suzuki. I always think that personally, because I'm, I'm a certain kind of scum. Science has yet to figure out exactly which one, but uh, it's a certain kind. her cape of power and mask of power. And she, she doesn't really have to work all that hard given that she has a guaranteed uh, shot. But as she talked about in that promo earlier, she said she's uh, really willing to put in the work for the respect and, the, uh, and earning that shot, even though I would say she uh, already did that. Just like with Grimm before, we have someone here who very regularly puts on quite a performance, puts in a ton of pain, and then genuinely just has it stolen out from underneath them. Which would explain why Mary is always uh, rather upset. And from the former Soviet Union, Mary she has lots of reasons to be upset. Omelets are uh, among them. I've never heard about the egg trying. Well, don't. You don't want to hear about the egg trying. Don't ask about the egg trying. Good reason for why she can't wrestle in that cup. Alright, so we have creepy, nerdy, and angry in the ring, and we'll see how this works out. Uh, apparently, it works out by Harry deciding to climb to the top immediately. 
and then get ganged up on by both Creepy and Nerdy. Meanwhile, Creepy goes up to the top uh, to uh, preach to the millions of our own fans in attendance. Ten million. There's a clubbing elbow to the top of the head. Slapjack onto the top of the rope. Elena. Dropkick early cover. Red shoes running around the world. Almost gets taken out by Suzette. Planning around the tree of woe, eat the, eat the knee to the neck. Whoa, wraps her up in an STF. If she, if she taps here, I'm gonna be real shocked. Putting back elbow. Elena dropping Suzette to the floor with a crossbody. What in the hell was that? <laughs> it looked like Mary was like ready to like have her throw Suzette at her. Instead, Elena turned around and threw her outside. Oh, how could she slap? Lena up top. Oh, Mary up to her feet. Oh, Dragon Rana again! Another another top rope move that has succeeded. Psychic headbutt from Suzette. Flies in with that cross body, lots of momentum. Harry into the corner. Oh, Galena, the chop machine. Oh, one more, one more. Oh. Got your nose. Taito suplex. Looks the leg. Suzette in. Michinoku driver. Elena up top yet again. Well, oh, Phoenix Flash hooks the leg. No, no, she doesn't hook the leg. But she did complete it again. Mary up. And Mary, after recovering, just shoulder block. Mary trying to steal the victory here. She took Galena's work and stole the victory for herself. Devious. Oh, absolutely devious. Oh. She stole the victory. Because Galena turned around to try and deal with Mary getting back up to her feet because before she would have broken up the pin. And Mary just stole it. Out from under her. Here is your winner, Mary. <laughs> you must thank you. Mary says, screw it. If I can't get away any other way, I'm going to do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she's real, real smug here. 
<laughs> so very snatches victory by capitalizing where she didn't even do it. Oh, ultimate opportunity. <laughs> Whoa, that, those are those are spicy words, Ga Galen. Oh, if Ra heard that. And here we have our main event. We've got the Brew Brothers, who are in uh, dire straits against Man O'Murr in a ladder match for I have no idea what in the case. But we will see one way or the other here. out there by himself. Oh! Instant teleportation. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Not yet reflecting like snake changes, but snake is now a redhead. Gotta get that hair dye in action. Snake is very smooth the redhead. And this change will be reflected by the next time. Starting off here, we got uh, some confusion over strategy with uh, the Brew Brothers. The ladder match, guys. You don't have to step outside. I don't know if Faust was just straight up confused, or he just figured since they were doing it, I'll do it. Faust going for the ladder early. Who takes the ladder out of play? Big man looking over his back with his clubbing blows. I don't think anybody in this match but Aylin can fight. But 
Okay. Takes with it. The knee strike to the abdominals of Faust actually seems like it can hurt far more than Faust. And he does it again! Use the one with the pad on it! Ladders are expensive. He's taking care of the ladder until Faust decides to climb up it, but Faust is having a great time dancing around. So Aelin has decided that if he's had enough, he will go and get the case himself. He's going to get the supplements, but uh, Snake says nope, he dumps him with a power ball. Everyone is down but Snake Stone. Trying to keep Faust down. Uh, kind of a process. Faust is now well and truly down, but Snake says, no, I gotta keep working him over. He knows him well enough. Thinks better of it. Man over working over Snake. Ooh, backstabber with both the knees. Aelin's knees treacherously damaging. Aelin up top again, trying to work the case down. Back in, pushes the ladder over. Electric chair is around. Oh, goes for the full Nelson. And Faust alone in the ring. Smack the heart out immediately to the back. Big man very slowly ascending the ladder is a shock that he even has to. He's practically about as big as the thing is himself. Car with the rain the right. Now it's returning the favor. Like swinging at his partner. Get for the save. Aelin's in the ring. Snake doesn't notice. 
He's got the booze, he's got the supplements. Brew Brothers take the victory here. After just gently setting Aelin on the, on the turnbuckle. <laughs> Sit there, watch me win. <laughs> taking in the supplements and the booze and everything else in that case, we have our show complete. I'm gonna play a little bit of this. Caseful and Jaguloid. All natural male explosion. Supplemented by Goliath Lab. Uh, yeah, I'm not even surprised. Not even Alright, well. Yes, with that, that is our show. With our and art and realization. Thank you so much for watching. I don't know if I'm tomorrow because Ben Walker has to my life. Um, I also just want to get some stuff done right here. You know, decorations and everything. Christmas. Officially Christmas. Uh, Somebody I know is doing Resident Evil 1, the 1996 version. Oh, the whales. Breathe the same. Breathe, now back to my job. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just have, I'm gonna raid this person because they're doing the good version of Resident Evil, the one with the horrible voice acting and everything else. And I think it's, I think that's just fantastic. Well, you guys all have a good night. Uh, and for those watching the VOD, thank you. Hope you all have a good night too. Alrighty, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Especially thank you for all the random stuff. I always love it. Alrighty. As I send you on the raid, I will take off here. Crib. Alright. See you guys. Lisa. Brave Mustaine is raiding with a party of none. Well, thank you so much. I didn't even make a uh, 
Did it even make a sound? Uh, if it did, I'm sorry. I didn't barely heard it. So Just about, yeah. For reading the channel and doing a host to 12 streamers. So I really appreciate it. Thank you. So welcome to the stream. Let us take a second here. So welcome to the channel. I'm Jail Anderson 01. Welcome to being a survivor of the zombie apocalypse potential. Okay, I'll get it for you. We've already done a Jill run, now we're doing a Chris Redfield run. Never done a full playthrough as Chris, by the way, because I was highly trained by my mother as a small child to do. Uh, so then we're level two. Leon A, Claire B, Claire A, Leon B. We've done RE2 remake, RE3 remake, RE3 Nemesis. We've done four. We've done. Seven in village. Oh, realize I'm still going. Like the only one <gasps> oh goodness. Alright. So we 